A reading from Numbers. From on Hor, the Israelites set out by the way of the Red Sea to go around to the land of Edom. But the people became impatient on the way. The people spoke against God and against Moses. Why have you brought us up out of Egypt to die in the wilderness? For there is no food and no water, and we detest this miserable food. Then the Lord sent poisonous serpents among the people, and they bit the people, so that many Israelites died. The people came to Moses and said, We have sinned by speaking against the Lord and against you. Pray to the Lord to take away the serpents from us. So Moses prayed for the people. And the Lord said to Moses, Make a poisonous serpent and set it on a pole, and everyone who is bitten shall look at it and live. So Moses made a serpent of bronze and put it upon a pole, and whenever a serpent bit anyone, that person would look at the serpent of bronze and live. A reading from Psalm 107. Give thanks to the Lord, for the Lord is good, and God's mercy endures forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord proclaim that God redeemed them from the hand of the foe, gathering them in from the lands, from the east and from the west and from the north and from the south. Some were fools and took a rebellious path. Though their sins they were afflicted, they loathed all manner of food and draw near to death's door. Then in their trouble they cried out to the Lord, and you delivered them from their distress. You set forth your word and healed them and rescued them from the grave. Let them give thanks to you, Lord, for your steadfast love and your wonderful works for all people. Let them offer sacrifices of thanksgiving and tell of your deeds with shouts of joy. A reading from Ephesians, the second chapter. You were dead through the trespasses and sins in which you once lived, following the course of this world, following the ruler of the power of air, the spirit that is now work among those who are disobedient. All of us once lived among them in the passions of our flesh, following the desires of flesh and senses, and we were by nature children of wrath like everyone else. But God, who is rich in mercy, out of the great love in which he loved us, even when we were dead through our trespasses. Made us alive together with Christ. By grace you have been saved and raised up with him and seated us with him in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus, so that in the ages to come he might show us immeasurable riches of his grace in kindness toward us in Christ Jesus. For by grace you have been saved through faith. It is not your own doing, it is a gift of God, not the result of works, so no one may boast. For we are what he has made us, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand to be our way of life. Jesus said, Just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whoever believes in him may have eternal life. For God so loved the world, that he gave his only Son, that everyone who believes in him may not perish, but may have eternal life. Indeed, God did not send the Son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. Those who believe in him are not condemned, but those who do not believe are condemned already, because they have not believed in the name of the only Son of God. And this is a judgment that the light has come into the world, and the people love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. For those who do evil hate the light and do not come to the light, so that their deeds may not be exposed. But those who do what is true come to the light, so that it may be clearly seen that their deeds have been done in God.